Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balcon. Today is going to be a quick tutorial on how to paint blue white sword blades. So the first colour that we're going to use is Sithel Araman Blue. I like this as a colour for frost blades or power blades sometimes. It's a nice, almost turquoisey kind of blue. It also mixes with the white really, really well for when you're getting that shine to the blade. So lots of the layers in this video are going to be pretty much the same because it's basically adding increasing amounts of white to the Araman blue just to give it that shine going up the blade. In fact, other than the matte black undercoat, there's only Araman blue, white and Citadel Drachenhof nightshade used in the whole video. I think this has been diluted slightly by the wet palette here. So when you're applying it, if you've finished the layer and it's looking a bit streaky, just wait till it dries and go back and do another layer just so it's one smooth colour. Next, we're going to be adding a little bit of Vallejo White to the Araman Blue. I'm going to start the first highlights. Now what you want to be doing here is, it's not as easy on this blade because it's just a flat blade. But on lots of blades you'll have a ridge running down the middle, so you want to be going up to the ridge on one side and painting it with this lighter colour, only maybe a quarter or a third of the way down. You want to get a nice sharp angle at the end of it, so you're going diagonal from the centre of the blade downwards. Almost like you're following the same angle as the tip of the blade. Then when you've done that bit, you're starting on the other side of the blade. Like so. Doing about another third or another quarter. Depends entirely on how much area you want to cover with each highlighted path. Sometimes you might just do one bit on each side, like one at the top and one at the bottom or anything like that. But on this I'm going for almost thirds. You can see this layer, they overlap slightly as well. As I say, this blade is very flat. So as we're going along here, it's not as simple as when you're doing it on maybe like Games Workshop Power Swords where they've got the ridge down the middle. Okay, I'm painting in the central line by hand here. But where there's overlaps or bits going on to the other side of the blade, we can just straighten that out at the end, get them looking all smooth. You can see here as well that this bottom path overlaps the one on the opposite side too. You can just tidy up the middle section there. Okay, next we're going to add a little bit more white to the previous mix. And we're just going to add inside those sections that we just painted. You're going to work all the way to the very tip of the blade on the first one here. And when you go down, you're going to leave a little sliver of the previous colour at the end of it. So that you've got the Araman blue, then the blue and white of the first layer. Then this layer that we're doing now. And then on each section that you're doing here, you also want to leave a little tiny sliver of the previous layer. And that'll give you that gradual build up to the white.
as always when you're doing this this is a, just a quick and easy method of getting this effect on swords you can spend a lot more time and doing extra layers or even doing wet blending and things like that to get it smoother but if you're just looking for a quick and easy method of doing tabletop miniatures with a sword that stands out this is a pretty good way to go next up again we're going to be adding a little bit of Vallejo white now we're going to repeat the same process as above so you're adding this to the very tip of the blade again and when you go down to the bottom you're leaving the previous two layers showing there so you've got the Aramon blue and then two different mixes of Aramon blue and white and you're doing the same on each section here but you're leaving the two different shades at each end you're going to try and get that line diagonally from the top as smooth as you can Sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but if it's just one layer, it shouldn't really matter too much if you're slightly wonky with that. like so again we're adding a little bit more white to the previous mix we're just going to repeat that process again so from the tip of the blade down leaving the previous three layers this time and then on each of the other sections you're going to be leaving the previous three layers on display at the edge of these parts Now depending on which faction you're using and what colour swords you want to use, I will be trying to do a few different colours of these. I'm already doing a purple blade that looks kind of like obsidian, which is what I use for my Sons of Horus and also the Black Legion. And I'll be going for a green yellow one, which someone suggested in the comments from a previous video. So if there's any particular sword blade that you'd like to see done in this similar style, then just pipe up in the comments below. I'll see if I can do it for you. Again, it's another bit of white getting mixed in with the previous mix. I'm going to repeat exactly the same process that we did earlier. That's all this technique is really, you're just repeating the same process over and over again, but covering less and less area when you're doing it. Now the sword that I'm using here is one of the two-handed weapons from the Frostgrave Soldier's Box. As I say, the blade is flat. There's no angle down the middle of it, so the angle is being painted on for this video as we go along. Once again, that's right, it's a bit of white getting mixed with the previous mix. You can see now it's starting to get brighter and brighter. Camera just cut out a little bit there as we were doing that previous layer. So we're going to start that again. But as you can tell, the sections are now getting pretty close to being completely white. You're not really highlighting that much of it anymore. So as this goes on, the layers will get shorter and shorter. Now 
like so. Next, we're going to add, that's right, a little bit more white to the previous mix. We are getting pretty close to just being pure white here. like so. Now we're just going to use some pure white to do the highlights on the blade. We will be coming back and doing more pure white in a moment, but we need to touch up the other side of the blades and get the Aramon blue a little darker in those places too. So now we're going to use Citadel Aramon blue. And we're just going to touch up the sections which are just the pure Aramon blue that we started with, just to straighten out the edges of the sword here. And when you're painting over white with it, it might show through the blue a little bit, so just wait till that dries and put another layer on it. This is where we put the straight edge to the areas that we've highlighted. Just give it the look that the blade has a ridge running right the way down in the middle of it. A little bit off camera there at the moment, sorry. I'm pretty sure you get the idea from the other bits that we've been painting. Like so. Next up we're going to be using Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade. Where we're going to be putting this is in the areas that are just plain Araman Blue. You're going to do like you did with the first highlight you're going to paint this on so there's just a little bit of Araman blue left at each end of it if you can get the shade to sit more in the middle of the blue area all the better but if not just having it there will darken down the Araman blue quite nicely when we come to put on some white highlights in a moment also note that we are working just on the one side of this sword so if you're painting up a sword as normal for your miniature, you want to be doing both sides of it. I find the easiest way to do that is to have the white and the blue tally up on each side. Then you can just draw it straight across the very edge of the blade and you know exactly where you're up to with each side. Again, a little bit off camera there. Like so. Now we're just going to be using a little bit of Vallejo white. We're not going to mix this with anything. We're just going to use the pure white itself. We're using a Citadel medium layer brush this is. And just dragging the side of the brush along the very edge of the blade. Just to get that little light white highlight going across the edge of it. Try and drag that so it's just going over some of the blue highlights. And again on the other side, I find it easier if you try and start doing this from one of the white areas because if there's more on your brush, it will put the majority of the white on that white area you're starting with. Like so. 
that just means that that section is getting the, the lightest highlight. And you know, it's just blobbing that on on one of the darker areas. Even if you do have two little paints on the brush, you can just add a little bit more and keep going to build up that white edge to it. If you get any on, you can just quickly rub that away with your thumb there. Now we're going to change brush and we're going to use an Army Painter Wargamer character brush. And that is just so that we can get some nice thin straight lines. Now we're going to be doing a little thin white line just to give a bit more of an angle to the centre of the blade. And you can see to do the straight lines you're dragging that brush away from the tip, you're not trying to point it on or press it on or go sideways, you're just using the very tip of the brush in a straight line being dragged downwards. You can see that although it's a flat brush, doing those thin lines in the middle there does give it a look, so there's an angle in the centre of the blade with the two sides raising up to it. Here just putting some slight white lines on it to make it look like it's been caught or maybe scuffed or maybe just a shimmer on the blade itself. Like so. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.